Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Balancing Act. We're having some fun. I'm Julie Moran. And I know why. I'm Olga Verde. <laughs> I am ready to cruise this morning, <laughs> literally, as we learn about some great destinations from our friends at Costa Cruise Line. All aboard. There we go. Also, want to track your numbers? You can while you're on the go or traveling, thanks to innovative and consumer-friendly personal health care products that are connected to the cloud. This is awesome. We'll explain. All right. Then our Be the Change series continues with restaurant giant Denny's as they work with the Share Our Strength organization to close the hunger gap mm -hmm. as one in five children struggle with hunger in the U.S. It's hard to believe. They're giving back and helping feed our youth. Giving back. I love that. The Balancing Act starts right now. Imagine yourself here, the open, pristine waters in the middle of the ocean on a gorgeous ship. And there's so much to do, both on board and on shore. Sounds like a holiday to remember, huh? According to our guest, if you've never been on a cruise, you're missing out big time, especially now. Meet Scott Knudsen of the Italian Costa Cruise Lines. Good morning. Well done, Costa. Costa, Good not morning. Costa, right? Not Costa. Well, Hispanics say Costa, but he says Costa. Here in U.S., it's Costa. In Italy, it's Costa. Costa, okay. So. Well, I'm going to say Costa. Right. Can I tell you how many cruises I've been on? Uh, I, yes, you, I'd love for you to. Woo! The more, the better. Dozens. Wow. And you want to know why? Por qué? Por qué? Because I think cruising is so much fun. I think it's the way to go, isn't it? It's absolutely. It's the most popular vacation form these days. Uh, it's growing like crazy. It's still in its infancy stage. I think at some point in Miami or how, in uh, Fort Lauderdale, you're going to have a ship every single day uh, sailing to places all over the world. And we see it out of the Port of Miami all the time, and my girls are always looking, and they've been on so many, too. And, you know, and maybe, you know, you'll agree with me, too, because you're obviously here talking for Costa, Costa. There's just so much to do. There's just so many benefits, and one of them is all the locations you can go to. Right. It's, as far as destinations, it's a uh, really rare opportunity to wake up to a new vista every day. So you get on board, uh, for example, in the Med, seven days. How, how, many, how many other vacations can you go to five different cities, three different countries, pull open your curtains in the morning and you're in a brand new vista. It's just a phenomenal, convenient and comfortable way to travel all over the world. And you go to places that are fun and exciting and you learn something, you get back on board and you go to another place. Right, absolutely. I, I like to think of it even as an educational experience. Um, I've got three kids and they go on board and, and you know we go all, all over Europe or even in the Caribbean and they just have a blast. Uh, I went for my honeymoon when we got married and uh, one thing that I do love also about cruising is there's so much to do on board. People sometimes think, oh, there's... There's a lot. Right. There's t and that's really, the, I think, the appeal of cruising these days is that in the past it was, oh, I'm going to be bored, I'm going to be confined, uh, what am I going to do? When you look at a ship like this, the Costa Luminosa, you've got three large pools for the adults and the kids have their own private pool. We even got a, a Magrodome there so that we can close that overhead and throw parties in there at night or when the weather's inclement. And something that's huge are the slides for the children. Look at that. Whee! Right. We, <laughs> we have sound effects, of, sound effects. We have, love it. We have some of the largest slides afloat and those are always popular. Popular. And it's not just for the kids, believe me. The adults are out there moving the kids out of the way oftentimes. But um, lots of things to do. We've even got a basketball court. Uh, and we, that's normally around here? It's right around there. Uh, in fact, we took our kids on a uh, big group, about 100, on a spring break cruise. The boys would go up and play soccer against the Europeans, and they'd have their own little World Cup. Then they'd go jump in the pool, cool off, and then go down and uh, eat pizza or gelato and learn phrases in other languages they weren't supposed to learn. And uh, they're still in, in touch on Facebook. In fact, one of the kids said that was the most incredible international experience I've ever had, Mr. Newton, and we sailed out of Fort Lauderdale. Oh, that's great. Another fabulous thing, uh, <laughs> hello, the spas and the exercise rooms. They're great. Exactly. They're, they're at the front of the ship, so um, you can be standing on a treadmill in the morning and looking out over the ocean. It's the most so amazing beautiful. vista. Um, they're over 14,000 square feet, so they're, they're just huge. Uh, we really pioneered the spa concept, so you can actually have a cabin right down the hall from the spa, walk down in your slippers and robe, do a full day. Uh, in fact, my wife and our, our daughter do, do their own girls' getaway. They'll go check in at 8 o'clock when I won't see them until dinner sometimes. So. It's really um, uh, a fantastic way to relax, pamper yourself at sea. Uh, why not? You're on vacation. You might as well do something unusual. And something that I, I, I have to tout about because I love to eat and people don't believe me, but I do, the food. What you have there is just something that you can never get when you travel. It's there all 
the time. Right. Food. Right, right. You're, you're right. And it's, it's healthy. I mean, you can eat as much as, or as little as you like, and it is heart healthy, and, and there's a locale uh, option if you'd like it. But especially on a Costa ship, it's going to be very Italian. And it's going to, be, going to be, you know, al dente pasta and focaccia bread and very much the Italian style. So that's one of the things that uh, people that really love um, the international experience will love the experience on our ships. If they're looking for more of an American experience, it'd be probably in one of the other lines. A great experience also. It depends on what you like. For example, I'll always, this has what, how many levels? 14? 14. I, I like to be on the higher levels simply because I like to look out. And there really is a lot of space. I always get the balcony. Yeah. You can also get a smaller room, but the balconies are great. Well, I think once you go in a balcony, there's no other way to go. I mean, to, why would you go in an inside where there's no window or even in a window where you can't really smell the sea and be out there enjoying it and having a cup of coffee in the morning while your kids are sleeping? So, um, you know, like all different, different varieties, different sizes. So you can go uh, economically in an inside but balconies are not that much more. And if you do it per day, and it's only a few dollars more per day for an amazing experience. It's, it's an amazing value, um, particularly in Europe, because the cost of a hotel in Europe, uh, for the cost of two nights, for example, you can go for seven days and go to five different places and have unlimited entertainment and meals and fun. So it's, a, it's a, not only a, a lot of things to do and very popular, but it's an incredible value when you put it all together. Where does Costa go out of? We're headquartered in Genoa, so we really live in, uh, in the Med. We always have ships there, even in the winter, which is a great time to go, low, smaller crowds, lower airfares, um, good, good rates. Uh, we're also uh, out of Dubai, North uh, Europe, uh, Caribbean will be here in the winter, uh, South America, mm. and now we're big time in Asia. We even have the, uh, the ship, this, this guy will do around the world for 98 days. Wow. Yeah. Well, Amazing. I think I'm gonna go on another cruise very soon. You got me going into that little mode of uh, sailing away. Just go to costacruises.com or call us at 800-GO-CASTA and we'll hook you up. Costacruises.com. Right. Just promise me one thing that I've never been able to do. Shoot. Wear the captain's hat. <laughs> Just for a moment. We'll, we'll arrange that. I'm sure you'd have no problem with that. <laughs> Thank you Thanks. so much, Scott. Too much fun. And if you'd like to learn more, it's costacruise.com or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Bon voyage. The importance of healthy living cannot be overstated. While we try to eat a well-balanced diet and exercise regularly, how do we know if we are truly healthy? How often do we think about our key health numbers? You know the ones, blood pressure, blood sugar, and body fat percentage. With today's technology, now we can stay connected to our health like never before. With us to demonstrate how high-tech mobile devices are helping to improve our health and quality of life are Steve Monier and Elena Kozlova of iHealth Lab. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Steve, let me start with you. You are a diabetic? Yes, I am. When were you diagnosed? Uh, when I was about 28 years old, so a little over 20 years I've, I've been a diabetic. 28. Were you experiencing something, signs, symptoms? Uh, I was showing symptoms. I had lost a lot of weight uh, very quickly and was urinating a lot, which are typical signs of diabetes. Uh, and, and came to find out that I did, in fact, have diabetes. So. Changed your life? Changed my life considerably. In so, what way? Uh, you know, it's just something you need to be mindful of every minute of every day, and it's sure. always in the back of your mind, so it's, you know, it's something that you need to adjust your lifestyle to accommodate. And you also had to track your numbers as well? I did. How I, did you do that? I, or how do you do that, I well, should say? Uh, for a long, long time, I was using a device like this one, which is a traditional glucose meter. I've seen uh, those. Yeah, it's got an uh, LED display on it, it's also got the strips that go into it, which you prick your finger and then bleed onto. It gives you a reading. Uh, once you get a reading, you just log that into a log book. So you physically have to write down exactly what you have every single day? Every single day, uh, for me, is four times a day. Okay, and I know, Elena, technology has changed that completely for people like Steve. How has technology improved this kind of tracking? Well, Olga, iHealth has created a smart wireless glucometer, and this is it. Just like with Steve's old meter, you still put in the strip, you still bleed onto it. But now, once the testing is complete, the data is transmitted into your phone and into the cloud and also into the iWatch. And you can have this data available to you at any point. You no longer need to have the logbook. So no more writing things down, That's having fantastic. to remember four times a day. It's all available and it stores years of data. Steve, can you show me how it works? Sure. Uh, I'd be happy to. So, I mean, you turn on the device, um, you're going to pair it with your phone or your tablet. Okay. Um, once you do that, you're going to scan, and this is your vial of strips, you're going to scan the QR code on top of the vial of strips. Okay. It decrements them as you use them, so when you run out of this bottle, it would require you to scan another QR code. Um, you take the strip, 
you plug it into the device, uh, at which point you would prick your finger, bleed onto the strip, the readout or the reading will be recorded here as well as into your phone and that transmits the data into your cloud storage uh, which you can then share with loved ones, you can share with your doctor, um, and essentially they get your information in real time. And you have days and days and months of that information in there. Absolutely, as long as you're collecting data, it'll record it, and Which, you'll just, it's at your fingertips. And that's a huge game changer for a lot of people who maybe forget to log in, for parents who need to know how their children are doing, they can get the information in the app, right, Elena? Definitely. So imagine your child is in camp and your child is diabetic. And there's no more worries. You Bam. can just get the data instantaneously. They take a reading, you see it. Now you also have other devices for people who maybe take uh, blood pressure medication or they need to know how their blood pressure is? Yes, so we actually have two blood pressure monitors. One is for your upper arm, mm -hmm. and the other one is a more uh, travel-suited solution, and you can use this on your wrist. Both take accurate readings. Both are FDA-approved devices. They also transmit data up into the cloud. They're smart wireless devices. So again, you show up at your doctor, you have months, years, however long you're recording the data, it's available for you. Right, because if you if you have any concerns, the doctor will say monitor your blood pressure for two weeks and come back. And now that makes it easy. You just show them on the app and say, this is where I'm at. Exactly. So right here, this is a week's worth of blood pressure data. Now I know that if you need to do it over a week, over a month, cumbersome. No more. Now, what is the scale for? So this scale is a smart scale. We call it the core. And after you stand on it, so you put your feet right here on these sensors, it essentially takes a reading, uh, but it goes beyond pounds. It gives you nine parameters of your body mass. So you get your body fat percentage, you have your BMI, you have your bone mass. And you can keep track of that over time? You can keep track of that over time. And beyond that, you can really see how your lifestyle choices impact your health. You can really see that in the scale. And you can continue with your exercise program instead of just saying, well, my weight's the same. What's going on? Elena, also, I know these products are also improving the lives of the elderly. And I believe you have a great story with firefighters who are kind of like keeping them healthy, if you will. Yes, Olga. So the Satellite Beach Fire Department is doing fantastic work with their elderly population. They used to have huge instances on 911 calls and they decided to do something about it. Now they do regularly visit their patients, but between those visits, they're using the eye health devices, such as the blood pressure monitors, the scales, even the activity trackers. And they're really looking at how their patients are doing between visits. But between those visits, they log in every day and they see how Estelle is doing, for instance. And if Estelle forgot to take her insulin after having a nice big slice of cake in the evening, <laughs> they can call her up and say, hey Estelle, what's going on? Have you forgotten to take your insulin? That's fantastic. Big game changer here, I think. Huge. Where can viewers find out more about these products and where can they get them? You know, uh, they can look at our website to get more information about it, which is iHealthLabs.com. Uh, they're available for purchase at Amazon.com uh, as well as uh, Best Buy stores and soon at Walmart.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your story. Thank you. Elena, thank you so much for the info. Thank you for having us on the show. And to learn more about the benefits of mobile and digital measuring technology, visit us at TheBalancingAct.com or get social. Log on to Facebook forward slash TheBalancingActFans. Coupon you were talking about? It's the coupon we were talking about at the table, exactly. We're actually collecting donations to help end childhood hunger for children in America. How can I help? Here's the $3, Max. Thank you for your donation, and with your donation, you get $9 in Denny's coupons, and you're helping a child who's hungry. Isn't that great? Yeah. Let's go, Max. Come on. Denny's knows how important it is for kids to get a wholesome meal before they tackle school. But surprisingly, not all children have the luxury of eating breakfast. These images are not of some faraway country, they're of communities right here in our country. And a recent survey found that one out of every five kids in America, that's 16 million, are living in households that struggle to put food on the table. Denny's, America's Diner, is leading the cause to change that. Denny's is in its fourth year partnering with Share Our Strength's No Kid Hungry campaign. It's a nationwide movement aimed at ending childhood hunger by connecting kids with healthy foods where they live and they work and they play. And joining us today for our Be the Change segment to discuss this critical mission is Denny's president and CEO, John Miller, and Debbie Shore, co founder of Share Our Strength No Kid Hungry Campaign. Welcome to the show. 
This is so important. I'm so glad y'all are here. Thanks for Thank thrilled to be here. Thank you very You know, John, those numbers are really mind-blowing, aren't they, as we listen to them? And, and I know that the you know, federal government plays a really critical role, but sometimes it's not enough, and that's where Denny's has taken the lead and stepped in. No question about it. We, we are pleased to be in the role we're in. We believe we are making a very big difference. And uh, the show will make a difference, too, because raising awareness yes. is part of the issue. All right, Debbie, tell us just a little bit off the bat more about the campaign. The paradox around this issue is that there is plenty of food and plenty of programs and plenty of services for hungry kids. So there's really no reason for them to be hungry. Mm. So the No Kid Hungry campaign really focuses on ensuring that all kids have access to healthy food, where they go to school, where they, you know, where they, right. where they live, right. and where they play. Well, John, you have almost 1,600 restaurants, and you guys are just perfectly positioned to really make a huge contribution. We are. We have. We love the partnership because it's more than just feeding. It's also about systemic issues that come from a lack of food. Mm. So studies have shown that kids who have breakfast learn better, score better on their test, have a 20% higher likelihood of graduating from high school. Wow. And we know that kids who graduate from college are four times more employable than those who never finished high school. So this plays a major role in that ending that cycle of poverty in the United States. Now, I'm not here to pretend that feeding alone can do that, right. but it plays a major foundational role. Oh, I'm sure it does. And John, earlier we saw a dad you know, and his child, we saw him at your counter and they were you know, donating. Tell us more about how that works. Well, how that works, we have franchisees in this partnership in all 50 states participating to make sure the most important meal of the day, breakfast, gets served all the kids. So our guests win by coming in to buy a $3 set of coupons, they get $9 in value back. Wow, the that's big. The kids win because millions will have meals and access to meals through summer meal programs, through cooking matters where they can learn nutritional and how to shop uh, at a value and feed their families, especially those from disadvantaged neighborhoods. And, and then, of course, the communities win in all 50 states. Absolutely. John, now how much did you collect last year and what's your goal this year? We collected about a million dollars last year. We bumped it up to a, a million two hundred fifty thousand is our goal Give for this year. Give me five on that. And, All right. Uh, we're excited, excited about the good that that can do. You know, Debbie, obviously Denny's is really serious about uh, this mission, and oftentimes it really does take a village, right? And what's amazing about what Denny's is doing is that for each dollar you can connect a kid to ten meals, right? So that's a lot of meals. Denny's is also setting, I think, a pretty important example for, Huge how, example. You know, for how restaurants in corporate America can really uh, pitch in. When you talk about it takes a village, it really does. Have we really made progress in feeding America's children? Well, I certainly think we have. Good. This number was much higher coming out of the recession, maybe over 20 million kids without wow. access. It's down to around 16 million now. That's way too many, and it has to be a lot lower. So clearly, we're proud to be part of this. We don't plan to end this anytime soon. And, and uh, we would like to encourage more to participate. So uh, come visit a Denny's, go online, make your contribution, yeah. and we really encourage our entire nation to get involved. We just teamed up with the Department of Education in New York, bought a summer meals truck, and the first eight weeks of summer, we were able to provide eight million meals in the you first know. eight weeks. So that's really how far that, those dollars can go. You can't have a healthy nation with hungry kids. That's right. So that's really, yeah, that's well, the focus. Well, thank you both. John, great seeing you, and thank you for coming in the studio today. Thank you. Thank you again for having us. All right, and to find out how you can help childhood hunger, visit your nearest Denny's restaurant or go online at denny's.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll see you next time. Such great information on today's show. We'll continue our Be The Change series, introducing you to companies who are really making a difference in their community. And what are you doing locally to help in your neighborhood? There are lots of ways to be the change. Remember, we have lots more on our website, thebalancingact.com. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Until the next time. Remember, find your balance. So long, everybody.